Greetings to all life forms who have found this transmission. This is a reading for those either born June 21st through July 22nd under the sign of cancer or those who resonate with the cancer energies or feel a call to watch this video in particular. This is a general reading message for the year of 2020. If any of these messages here don't resonate or don't feel right, there's a lot of other content here on YouTube. And if you want more content from me, you can shoot me an email down there in the description box. And I'll get back to you with a free, more personalized reading. So this video is going to be broken up into three parts. The first four, middle four, and last four months. I will do one card and one rune each. And then I will pull the bracelet at the end to give the messages... A full reading. Okay, thank you very much to all the those who feel that beautiful crab energy that's here with us right now. So at the beginning of the year, you're going to begin to master your thoughts and begin to have an ability to conquer your thoughts and your lower destinies that you can sit on them, rest upon your thoughts, which will give you power instead of taking away your power removing this this beautiful tool we have a lot of times we imprison ourselves with our thoughts and we don't let our thoughts help us expand in our life and similar message with your first rune we have the ancestral god odin in a lot of readings this is receiving very profound cosmic messages signals symbols inspirations and this sense of enthusiasm coming through your words and your actions of naming, of creating, of blessings. And it works very well in the tandem that when you can master your thoughts and master your creative ability, you can really shift and change your reality for those directly in your path and those all around you. Just remember when working with that Odin energy that will be very present for you. Sometimes he does deceive, and he's not the most honest god. But what he wants to show is the ability that to discern. So about 50% of anything you hear, including the videos on this channel and any channel, 50% will probably be gold and 50% will be garbage. And as a huge mes message of Odin, with his one eye, he's able to see better than when he had two eyes because he's overcome the duality. He knows that there just is one unity. And to be unity, some have to see you as good and some have to see you as bad. That balances you out so you can exist in the one. That's why we call him a god. And I believe and Odin teaches that this can be accomplished by any serious seekers. So the middle four months of the year, you will have a hard time with acceptance of your divine feminine, the ability to create, to birth, and to lead, even when others think you're not good enough, thinks you don't have enough experience. And you can really feel this probably in the middle of the year around springtime and summer, because you will see all these things coming up, all of these new structures being created, but you want to be in power you want to be someone who's helping this growth and you feel like you're not and but know that you really are birthing a beautiful harvest a beautiful reality into your life by changing your beliefs by changing your activities your habits and the mental programs the thoughts that we run through our head because this rune represents the the earlier effects being realized, the seed finally sprouting, a time of peace and happiness, very fruitful if you're trying to, you know, either have babies or create anything, this will be a very good time for creation. Just change your beliefs and everything else changes. Because there's this critical pattern of the universe where it starts with something tiny and finite. And over time, that becomes a huge tree that provides shades to thousands. And that's just one of many examples of the cyclical nature of it starts small, it gets huge, it ends small. And that's how it's always been. The tallest man on earth 
He was born a small baby just like everyone else. Maybe bigger than the other babies, but he still was small, and then he became large. Same with the females as well, so. The end of the year, for you, we have another deity. We have the birch goddess coming through, which is f good fidelity of mind and spirit, which allows you to have this sensitive personal growth and liberation from those past ideas that have enslaved you, those thoughts, beliefs, and habits that no longer serve, gives you a promise of a new beginning, a new growth, and maybe, you know, a arousal of desires and things that you have suppressed and haven't been able to give yourself. Because a lot of times we believe we need to walk away from what gives us happiness. We need to isolate ourselves. We need to remove the happiness and joy because we think we're not worthy. We think we're not good enough. We think that we are bad. So if someone loves us, if someone's giving us kindness, then they're in the form. They need to know that we're not good enough to receive that. Well, that's a lie. That's a false belief that we've given ourselves that doesn't actually serve us. Because the best way I have learned to help yourself is accept when other people want to help you. Because there's always someone out there somewhere who's willing to help. The issue, the problem that many people have is this conditioning that we cannot receive. If we, if we receive the help, we're less than. We are worthless because we needed someone to help us. That's false. That doesn't actually exist. That only exists in the mind. And as we begin to learn these things, our lives will change and birth this beautiful concept into the universe all around us. So, your bracelet reading is paper and ceramic. So, this kind of relates to the Cancer's natural ability to create their space, to create from the things around them, from the positive or negative experience, and create this in your life develop that sense of security and identity that you really hold on to you can do this throughout the whole year with each word you say with each action you take they can be leading towards the ultimate outcome even if just a small step each time after a while it will just keep rising so I will go back through to give a recap at the beginning of the year, we have the cosmic Odin energies, and that is showing us how to master our thoughts, how to create our reality through our intention, through our vibration, through the words, the actions, and the beliefs that we carry. And you are fully capable of sitting in your own power that can only be created through the mindscape. During the second four months of the year, you will see a lot of birth growth and change in your in your life but there will be the blockages of thinking you cannot do it the the last remaining thoughts that you haven't fully conquered at the beginning of the year will resurface as some blockages as some things you put in your path so you can overcome them think of a racer around a track he chooses to place the hurdles where they would be the most difficult so he can learn and advance more and more so sometimes you give birth to your issues because you know that you were able to overcome them. And that will make you stronger and infect the lives of others around you. So the end of the year, you will feel like you have to leave and walk away from things that make you happy, joyous, kindness that others give you. Because you're birthing, you're creating this, this new thing, and you think you have to create it alone. You believe, somewhat falsely, that it has to only be you. Where that's not the case in anything, because when you share and co-create with another being, it allows you to feel this sense of gratitude, of love, of value, that you only you can show yourself. But the way to do that is look in the mirror of someone else. See how someone else is themselves, so you can be the better version of yourself. And if you, anyone here, I really do hope these med messages resonate with you. If you would like a a free reading. I can give them out over the email. Link down there in the description box. And I really do hope you have a beautiful and powerful year. Much love to you all.